so I'm gonna tell you guys like this little rant like I can't really whisper it because it's just a long story um I'm currently in the parking lot waiting for my mom to get her nails done so yeah um where can I start so these people have me fucked up basically I've been looking to get a new car as you guys know like I'm a new job and everything I'm an adult now I need like another car and you know originally I had an infinity G35 2005 all-wheel drive and I've been looking for another infinity but a Q50 all-wheel drive and I've been using what was it I've been using car guru and all this other stuff to find a car and I've been on the search for like it was like five months for the search and I finally I thought I finally had found one and it was in Baltimore and it was it was like I don't know it was it was too good to be true and that was the situation just too good to be true it was a 2015 Q50 and then I had only like 18,000 miles on it so when I get there when I'm checking out the car I had my dad just test drive it and stuff because I wasn't driving in the city and I mean everything seems cool like everything's running smoothly no sounds there's no leaks like everything engine look good battery look good everything looks cool He's telling me, like, since it's a brand new car, that you all have, you know, warranty. The warranty was still there. Da, da, da. So I got the car, and that process was smooth or whatever. And I took it home. I bought the car Saturday. Why? <laughs> Why the fuck Monday morning? I know. Get up. I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna have a fantastic day. I'm gonna have a fantastic day. I get in the car and I check engine light came on. So I'm like, here we go. Like, here we go. This is my life. Every time, every time, something bad always happens. So I see the check engine light and I'm like, oh hell no. I go to work and I tell them, like, y'all, I got dipped because this shit about to go back today. So. Um, I leave work uh, probably like 9 o'clock in the morning. The place open at 9, 9 o'clock. So I'm speeding down to Baltimore. I live like 30 minutes, like 35 minutes away from Baltimore. And I get to the place and I'm telling them like, there's a check engine light. So yeah, y'all might, y'all gonna need to take this back. And it was like, how's the check engine light? Like the car's basically brand new. Let me have my mechanic to look at it. So the mechanic comes in and read the code, and for some reason, they're saying that it's a gas cap, or it could be like a I know it was a gas cap code, or something leaked. Like I don't know what it was, but they were like, "Oh, it's the gas cap. The thing gas caps always go bad." And it was like something in me was just saying like no the fuck is not the fucking gas cap like it's not and i just kept saying like how do you know it's the gas cap and like that's what the code but i'm like the code read other stuff too so what the fuck are y'all talking about and then like my dad gets there and i'm ready to like basically hand over the keys because i i wasn't i wasn't going for it and the guy was like well what the hell Anyway, the guy, the guy was like, um, if you know you turn the car, you give the car back, there's probably going to be no chance that you will get your money because there's no cooling off period or we don't have like a, uh, you return the car back, whatever rule. But I'm like, um, yes, you do. Because on the thing, it was like, you can return the car. Who the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I see like a. I think I see the freaking boy that was crying at my house. 
if y'all remember that story, the boy that was, that was knocking on the door, he was at the door, boy. I feel like I see him. Okay, I'm back. I just had to tell my girlfriends. Like, that was funny. Anyways, um, so yeah, he was telling me like, oh, I don't think you can get your money back because the bank may have already like got the loan and started it. So it's a chance you're not going to get your money back. So I'm like... Do I really want to do this? Like, what am I doing? Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea. And so I was like, I was like, I'm not trying to. I'm my. I wasn't planning on getting a car that I had to pay to get fixed. And he was like, Oh no 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 no! You don't got to pay for anything. Like, if there is a problem, you can come to us to get it fixed, or you go to Infinity because it's still a warranty on the car. So if it's anything. You don't have to pay for nothing like there should still be warranty on the engine and stuff so i'm like okay and then the mechanic was like yeah we can go to infinity right now together they'll let you know it's the gas cap like the car is okay so i'm like me being me not listening to the universe i'm just like okay i'll, I'll keep the car and I'm, but i'm gonna take it to the shop so as soon as i left the place I took it to an Infinity dealership to get it serviced, and unfortunately that day, they they didn't have like enough people working, so they had to get me in the following day. So <clears throat> I'm riding around with the fucking check engine light on, thinking like you know everything is gonna be fine. <sighs> Y'all, I took it to the Infinity dealership the next day, and I thank God like there was really some good people left in this world because. That man told me to take that fucking car back. He was like, you need to take this car back. And I'm like, why? Like, what's wrong? He's telling me, like, the engine looked like it was salvaged. Like, the engine looked like it had smudge in it. Or, like, somebody just, like, ran, ran the engine without getting oil change in the engine. Everything on the car had warranty except the engine. So, that's where the people fucked up because you guys sold me something that wasn't even there in the first place you're telling me that i'm getting a car that has like you know warranty on it and there's no warranty on the engine the most important piece of the car so i'm mad as hell again like i'm going off it's hot That's kind of loud. Um, anyways, I'm going off like I'm racing back to Baltimore again for the second time. I'm driving. I'm calling my dad like, get here now. Like, it's about to go down. Like, it's about to go down. I'm calling the people that gave me the loan for the car. And I'm like, I finally, like, it was, took about 10 minutes. I finally reached them and I'm like, has the loan been processed yet and thank god the loan has, wasn't processed yet they didn't even like couldn't even look me up in the system they had to like go further in the system to find me because it didn't start yet and i'm like don't start the loan they sold me a fucking lemon basically and like yeah don't don't well, don't go through with it so she was like okay just make sure like when you get back to the place you have a um you have them copy, I mean, fax them proof that you brought the car back. And then they won't do anything. So that's what I did, y'all. When I get there, they're sitting there. I'm like, yeah, I, I can't even return this car because the engine is salvaged. And that's what I said. And they're like, what you talking about? What you talking about? And I'm like, fax. Like, I had all the paper. And I'm like, look, the person at Infinity told me to take this car back, so... Unless y'all want to get sued, y'all y'all better just take the fucking car back. So they're looking, they see, like, that the engine didn't have any warranty. And they're talking about they didn't know, like, they don't know how that could be. They never, like, didn't even, first of all, they look at the paper and I'm like, this doesn't look like real paperwork. I said, oh, I have this number. Don't, like, don't play. This is why be trying to give little small businesses a chance but i swear you, you just can't do it 
not with anything big like a car purchase like so I gave them the man that I gave them his number and they called him and talked to him whatever and uh, while they were talking to him giving him giving me my deposit back telling me make sure I get everything out of the car because yeah because y'all was gonna fucking take it like I don't know what they thought I really don't know what the fuck they thought but they tried to, I, they almost got me all I could have been stuck with a car that could have broke down in probably like a year so it was just so devastating because the car was so pretty I mean I got another one now you guys can see it's black interior and it has more miles but I got it for cheaper and I enjoyed it I'm enjoying it um the first one was silver I kind of like that color more but this one's black and I just got it to it um yesterday I mean I like it but it was just I had to go through so much shit just to get the car like that was a nightmare like imagine freaking celebrating you getting a new car and the engine comes on the next day like that was so like so devastating for me i was i was definitely heartbroken but everything worked out um yeah they, they just didn't have any words to say for themselves i was pissed like i didn't want to talk to anybody i was i was definitely turned i was definitely turned up like turned up and so I didn't receive all my deposit back because I had put it on a certain card, so I had to go back yesterday to go get the um, rest of my deposit. And he seen me pull up in my new car. He had a nerve to say, "Oh, I like your car. That black is nice." Like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You just like shut up. The only thing you should be doing is apologizing because that's they didn't do that. Do not. If you live in Maryland. Do not go to dynamic cars because they're gonna fuck your shit up. Like, they're not reliable. Don't go there. Don't go there. Not professional at all. Like, and they try to make it seem like, yeah, y'all taking this car back today, sweetie. Okay? And I let them know too when I took the car back. Oh, yeah, I already, I already called the bank. They didn't process the loan yet. So, y'all gonna have to run me, run me, run me my money run me my money like but yeah other than that i mean everything's going good um <laughs> nothing bad has really happened i just been to mexico got me a new car i went to costa rica everything is going great so that's why i've been kind of you know m.i.a but yeah now you can see my hair it's looking, looking good. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. Maybe I'll show some. Actually, some of you guys follow me on Instagram. You could see pictures of my car. I don't want to get out. There's too many people on the side of town. Like too many people on the street. I just don't want to like record my car. Look stupid. So, um, maybe I can. I don't know. Maybe I can like. Switch. There's a little bit of it on the inside. That's not the check engine light. That's just because the car is that boy. <laughs> um, I'm actually getting this replaced because I have something I forgot what is what's it's called, but it needs to be reprogrammed. But that's for free, and I think I'm getting it done like next week. I gotta redo this system thing so I can get like my navigation and stuff. Of me running, but I love my baby. I love her so much. I haven't named her yet. So, I'm gonna get some glasses. This. <laughs> Another thing that I like, like um, the last one. That they try to jerk me with it wasn't bose speakers um my first car had bose speakers so i really enjoy that and i was gonna like you know give that option up because i was getting in a car like a really brand new car but i don't know i'm glad i have it now like i told you i got my car tonight so i don't know why 
that was doing me. That was for me to not um, roll down my windows, even though I didn't even wait 24 hours. I waited, I mean, 48 hours. I waited 24 hours to roll down my window. And nothing. So, I'm um, listening rules. And I don't know what else to show you guys. I can't, like I said, I can't get out the car. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's about it. See you guys.